is real and what isn't and who gets to say. I think what I love most about it is that we get to be inside of Rothko's mind. To be a fly on the wall in that studio is very special, I think. Mark Rothko's been given this very uh, lucrative commission to paint a series of paintings for the Four Seasons Restaurant, which is in the Seagram's building in New York, which is just being built. And he's hired an assistant for the first time to help him with that. And so we follow the process of that assistant arrives and their relationship developing and their different perceptions of what art is, could be. And the course of those paintings and what he finally decides to do about that project, which he is somewhat conflicted about. It's very rare for any of us to glimpse the world of creation. And certainly, Rothko is trying to create transcendent art. I mean, he, he hopes for people, for humans, who will be willing to look at it and take the time to actually receive it. And the show starts and ends with the same question. What do you see? It does, as he says, move in space. And they talk in the play about the Rothko's paintings only mm -hmm. exist in a way when someone's interacting with them. It's a beautiful question as to uh, the human side of art and the, the side of art that transcends. I don't know of any other time that your average person gets to sort of step into a studio and see people building a stretcher, a putting the canvas on it, prime it, making the paint. I feel like it's it's pretty true to how he made them, and I think all art is different, and that's what makes it all so awesome, but how particularly how Rothko made them, it's really fascinating. And Rothko talks about the red uh, being um, a life force, essentially. All that might imply black being its opposite, as he says, not in the spectrum, but in reality. Sometimes you put parameters on its relevance to the day and age, and then other art is so human, so timeless that you can't put that box on it. It's what lives forever, and we'll never really know that until, you know, it's the proof of time.